my lift is on the way i'm late but we're gonna have a jolly old time and i'm bringing y'all with me so come on let's go uh, yeah, yeah. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel, which is here B and A. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, join the fam, all that good stuff. So you never miss a video when I upload. Today is actually my birthday. I turned 26 years old, you guys. I cannot believe it. But we are currently doing a birthday. Get ready with me. Of course, just like anybody else's birthday, I'm running late. So we're gonna fly through this process, okay? So first things first, I went ahead and did my nails. Um, and I filmed the process for you guys. So it came out super cute i did a pink french set calm cool easy shorties and we're gonna go ahead and roll those clips so you guys can see how i did it because i did change up a few things yeah so as i was saying here is the little basic set that i did you guys have been absolutely loving my nail content so i thought why not add it in today's get ready with me the only thing that i did differently in today's little quick tutorials that i changed up my glue today i'm using the be tart box this is good it works just as good as the kiss envy glue that's linked in my description box it just came from a set so i couldn't find that one on amazon um and then i'm going to do my frenchies a different way because some people have struggled with free painting the Frenchies so I thought let me show you a different way in today's video so I hope you guys enjoy go ahead and sit back relax and listen to some music while I do my Frenchie set earlier if you struggle with free painting your Frenchie set you can do it how I'm doing it right here which is also how the nail salon does it and it actually leaves your Frenchies looking really crisp and really sharp so all I do is do a rough draft of the French shape and then I take this flat brush, I dip it in alcohol and then I slowly just clean up the edges and create the arc in the French shape if that makes sense and it comes out super nice sometimes you got to do it like two or three times because you need to apply a good enough pressure so you can actually remove the products you know the excess nail polish that you want to get off but yeah i just wipe it off with a, a paper towel in between and then if i take too much off i go back in and sharpen it up with my really skinny brush boom there you have it go ahead and care for 30 seconds apply top coat and care again and you should have a really sharp french set the nails out of the way we are about to go ahead and install a wig y'all which i haven't done in a while today i am going to attempt to do the like curtain bang look so let's just see what it ends up giving okay i went ahead and did my braid down two days ago so it's still looking a little fresh or whatever if i do say so myself and honestly speaking what i would normally do is like put on a wig cap you know push all my edges back 
and all that good stuff but i'm definitely not even doing that today i'm literally just gonna apply it as i am right now and if y'all see my little tail in the back sticking out don't mind her but what i am gonna do is put a little bit of this makeup on my lace so it blends a little bit better i've been wanting to try this style for a really long time now and i was like let me switch it up for the birthday which all honestly i'm a little nervous because y'all know when you do new things it's like is it gonna come out right and then if you don't like it you did it for your birthday and you don't like it you hate it and now you feel like your birthday is ruined <laughs> i don't know why people put so much like pressure on the day of the birthday but I'm gonna go ahead and give me a little alcohol on this um, paper towel so I can go ahead and clean my skin right here. I just did my skincare routine so I got like lots of serums and whatnot. Luckily this wig has comb attachments as well. Um, so we just gonna clip her on y'all. So first things first I'm gonna go ahead and line up the middle part with my natural hair middle part. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick these comb attachments under under my meek meals is what i like to call them this video is also from amazon i'm not even going to promote it like i'm gonna put the link in the description box below if y'all interested and if you like thinner wigs but i hated this wig because like i just said it was so thin to the point where baby i had to add in an extra um bundle that i had just sitting around like i think that's crazy i'm gonna go ahead and pull that back and i'm gonna clip it right here because i really don't want my lace flapping down into the glue so now I'm going to go ahead and get my red tail comb and I'm using Ghost Bond glue today. Always make sure that your glue come out prior to putting it towards your face because y'all don't even want to know how many times glue has like popped on me. Ugh, the worst. And then I'm going to spread out the glue. I like to do thin layers first and just build as I go. Okay, y'all, now it's time to lay it down. I went ahead and did four layers of glue this time just because it's been so stinking long since I laid a wig, baby. I need to make sure that this glue is super tacky. And then I'm just going to lay it down right on that big forehead of mine, okay? Also, I'm breaking out real bad on my forehead, so, like, this style is actually going to be perfect. And while I'm holding it down, I'm going to get my breast tail comb. Breast tail comb, because I think I said comb, child. <laughs> and I'm just going ahead and comb her into the glue. I want to make sure that it's super pressed down. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get my band. And I'm going to tie her down. And I'm going to get into curling my hair because I know for sure that's going to be the part that takes me the longest. Actually, before I curl it, I'm going to put some layers into it. I'm just going to go up and down like that. And go down. Like so, like that. One shot to your heart without breaking your skin. No one has the power to hurt you like your kin. Kept it inside, didn't tell no one else. Didn't even want to admit it to yourself. Boom. Okay, y'all. So basically, 
what I did was the curls at the back are going towards my face. The middle section is going away from my face and then all the curls in the front are going towards my face. And the last two that I did towards the face on each side, they like really going towards my face. Like that's why you saw me go like this because I just want like as much volume as I can get. And I'm going to spray my finger with some spritz. Yeah, this is Pump It Up Spritz. I'm so ghetto. Did y'all just hear the yeah that came out of my mouth? I didn't mean to do that. That was my intrusive thoughts went in. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and press it in like that. And then I'm going to put my band back on because I do not play when it comes to the lace. Like, I'm trying to be dancing my butt off tonight and I don't need my wig to slide back, okay? I'm going to cut the hair while she's straight. I'm going to go up. I'm so nervous. Kind of at an angle question mark. Okay, I'm kind of doing the damn one thing. Uh, more layers. And now I'm gonna keep doing that until I get to the length that I want. Um, but now I'm going to Clip all the hair back. Y'all probably like, you did all that and you still don't have a bang? Yeah, girl, it's because um, I don't want to curl it until I do my makeup. Go ahead and see what this lace is giving us. I'm going to chop her down the middle and cut her off. And I'm going to cut downwards. All right, y'all, so now it's time for makeup. And I'm not even going to sit here and cop tea. I cannot tell you all the products that I'm using, okay? Because I'm rushing. <laughs> I'm rushing, okay? So first things first, I went in with primer, okay? And now I'm going to lay my eyebrows down, okay? I've really been feeling this look with the whole elf brow lift situation <laughs> i don't even feel like driving i drove all around town today trying to look for a dress so while i be my face y'all let me tell you what the freak i went through so boom is it crazy of me not to put any makeup on my forehead because what would be the point like i'm gonna have a bang i'll put a little bit Right now, I'm kind of like not color correcting, but just getting some product on some of these marks because I've been bringing out so bad because I changed. Well, I got off of birth control and my hormones just been going berserk. So, anyway. But back to this dress situation, right? So, y'all know I went to Miami, turned up with my man, right? Had a wonderful time. Before I left, I ordered a dress. I did fast shipping and everything. I'm like, okay, boom, when I get back, it'll be here. It was here, left that for me, but it wasn't the best dress. Like, I don't know. I just feel like for my birthday, we could have did a little bit better. Okay, sorry, my battery died, but I liked the dress, but the fit of it was a little, eh, and I was like, all right, I could do a little bit better. Like, I've been wearing some bomb dresses. I could probably find, like, a better dress, right? So, boom, I see this cute dress that's on Nordstrom's, and it's under House of CB. It's so stinking cute, right? So, I see that it says you could do next day pickup. I'm like, bet. And the place that I could pick it up from was a Nordstrom's Rack, and it was in my area. So I'm like, okay, perfect. Order the dress, pick it up. Mind you, the dress was $300. The dress that I have, it's a pretty little thing. It's cheap. It's, it's also cheap quality. Like, I was just stressed when I was about to leave for Miami that I really didn't, I really didn't put much effort into getting like a really bomb dress. And honest to God, like it wasn't no reviews on the dress. So I'm like, how am I supposed to know that the dress is terrible? Also, I'm really playing myself because I'm trying out a new foundation and it's just like, what if you don't like the foundation? Current foundation I have, it don't match me no more because I'm tan. I'm going to blend it out with my hand real quick and then... Oh, this is a good match. 
<gasps> this is a really good match. Okay, birthday luck finally turning around. I just picked this up from the beauty pop store, y'all. This is a Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX foundation in the color. In the color. Um, Deep Sable. And I was going back and forth in the store. Like, which one would be my side? I mean, which one would be my... Which one going to match me the best? And I think I picked the best option. Like, this is actually tea. Heard you. Okay, anyways. I go to pick it up. They had it ready. I didn't have to wait. I'm like, look at God on my side. Period. I get all the way home. I could fit it, but the problem was... I went to, I realized it was like skin tight. Like I could fit it, but it was like a glove, you guys. It was like a freaking glove. So I'm like, F me in a booty hole. <laughs> F me in a booty hole. My dress is too small. It's like, a very, it was a very unforgiving dress. Let's just say that. So I was like, boom, can't do this. Like I cannot make this work not gonna be able to make this work so i went out to the store i returned it because give me my 300 dollars back what and i'm looking for another dress y'all nothing was cute nothing fit i was forced to just stick with what i have which is the dress that i'm gonna wear tonight and i don't care at this point I just want to make it to my dinner party on time because when I say I almost missed my 24th birthday completely, I think I was able to dance for a good um, 20 to 30 minutes and my party was over. But yeah, y'all, I'm rambling and I don't want that to happen again today. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. It shouldn't take me long. I'm going to go ahead and comb out these curls. We're going to get our curtain band together. Hopefully. <laughs> and we're going to wrap up this makeup look. Cause the words that come from your mouth You're the first to hear Speak words of beauty and you will be there No matter what anybody says What matters most is what you think of yourself So basically, the the curtain bang was giving me problems. So we probably just gonna do a regular devilo middle part. Um, the curls have fallen, but I wanted them to fall. I got my shoes in my hand. I'm wearing my other slides or whatever. My sister is bringing me a bag. I have to change my jewelry out when I get into the car. My lift is on the way. I'm late, but we are gonna have a jolly old time, and I'm bringing y'all with me. So come on, y'all. Y'all, we made it. Are barely, you okay? barely, but we made it. Okay. Okay. Clearly, I didn't even wrap up this video because I started vlogging for my B-Day vlog. But this wraps up this birthday get ready with me. I hope y'all enjoy. The curtain bang definitely humbled me. So, we're going to perfect it at another time. But make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.